Sierra Leone. Mm. As we speak, you, you, you want to look at what is the holding for government. Mm. GCNet is 35% owned by government of Ghana. That's right. Through th three entities, mm. Ghana GCB Securities, Ghana Customs Authority, and then um, you've got uh, a third one. Mm. Uh, that that there are, there are three government agencies mm. in there that hold shareholding inside of right. GCNet. Okay. That comes to thirty five percent for for on behalf of government. Now, what that means is every time GCNet makes profit, every mm. time GCNet charges charges the zero point four percent that they charge, government of Ghana gets thirty five percent of that. When GCNet declares profit. Mm. Government of Ghana gets dividends because for that. government of Ghana has thirty five percent of the shares of the shareholding. Okay. But when you take when you take for example the Unipass system for example, government of Ghana has zero percent. Okay. So but they what, will charge zero point seven eight. But they're going to charge more zero point seven eight. So okay. it means the importer and the Ghanaian person who is conducting business at the port is going to pay more, and government of Ghana is not going to get anything. Dividends. Who gets the money? An individual. GC Ghana Link and the, their Korean partners. And you see, you want to ask yourself why government is in a hurry to shave off 35% shareholding in a company mm -hmm. that gives you at least over the past five years over 120 million Ghana cities mm -hmm. in, in, in dividends. You want to shave that off and throw that away mm -hmm. for zero and put even more bedding on the Ghanaian taxpayer. I mean, you don't need rocket science well, to know if, that if there I is hear, an incentive if I hear you well, that is vitiated by fraud here. If I hear you well, you're saying this whole Unipass thing is wasteful it's a scam to put it lightly that's that's too heavy unipass says unipass says that they're going to deploy a system or we are hearing some officers being cajoled to say that the unipass system is working you need mm -hmm. to speak to freight forwarders in the takradi enclave mm -hmm. port where this is happening and you would you send your cameras that they'll tell you the challenges that they are facing unipass does not have a system that is that is running in fact west blue mm -hmm. has filed an uh, intellectual property suit in the high courts against Unipass because it's interesting that Unipass that comes in is supposed to come in with a superior system okay. has come in with a system that is a direct replica of Unipass of, of GCNet and West Blue system. In fact, mm. in places where West Blue is supposed to charge 0 0.28, which mm. is their fee, mm. and Unipass is supposed to charge 0 0.78, mm. you see that the typo is even made in there. So you see that it's basically something somebody has picked up here and just dumped Who here. Who could this somebody be? You're mentioning